Alrighty, we have a Federal Pacific breaker box here that we have a 30 amp breaker in. Okay, this is a 30 amp breaker and it's too big for the number 12 wire. So we turn it off. We'll pull it out like that. And this is a uh, 20 here. So it's in here like this. That pushes in like that. And let's see what kind of a splice they get in here. And that is no good. Okay, so we'll clip this off and we'll put a wire nut on here the right way. We'll strip our wires here. Okay, we'll get our wires twisted so they're even here. Clip it so it's even with the shortest one. Put our wire nut on. We'll make sure. See how I have a nice even twist there. Get our insulation even at the bottom and copper even at the end. Put our wire nut on. Take, this is a used one, so we're going to take our wire off here. We'll strip our new wire. And we'll put it in under our terminal like this. Make sure it's seated in all the way. Tighten our screw. Make sure it's tight. Okay, so we'll fold this, make sure our insulation is up in, which it is. We'll set this down in here like this, bring it around, and we'll set it into our box like the way it's supposed to be seated, like this, like that. So now it is properly seated. We have the right size breaker in here. We don't have this uh, splice anymore. It was just twisted and taped. So I'm gonna make sure this wire is up out of the way of our screw holes. Make sure our screws clear all the wires, which they do. And now we can put our cover back on up here. Put this 
in here like this. Make sure that's gonna it's upside down or is it right side up? How come it's not fitting? There it is, that's how it goes, okay. So we'll line this up here. Right there. So we're going here like this. We just have to get these pushed in together here. There we go. Put our screws in up here. So you never just twist and tape wires like that in a panel box or in any junction box. Okay, I'm just going to look and make sure everything's all seated in here. Good. Okay, it's tight, 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 tight. Let's make sure our breakers are all seated in here properly. Everything's all seated in properly. And That is how to replace a breaker in a Federal Pacific panel. This panel is obsolete. It's probably 30 years old. And uh, we had a 30 amp breaker on some number 12 wire and a twisted and taped splice. So we put a wire nut on a twisted and taped splice and put the right size breaker in that matches the 12 gauge wire. Here in the country I was born in, we use a 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps. Peace. Thanks for watching. That applies to both 120 volt circuits and 240 volt circuits.